Um, today, INEC eventually opened their case. And uh, today again, they closed their case, meaning they don't have much to say about what happened. In 176,000 polling units, no result was uploaded in real time on election day. That is the whole summary of it today. And the INEC ICT deputy director admitted that he could not read some of the results uploaded on IREF because they were blurred, and he told the court so. And that was after he had admitted that the result on EC8A must be identical with the result uploaded on IREF by his own words. So we saw in court the identicality of blood results from INEC. So that was what our team was saying. We now wonder how they were able to declare results with blood results that were unreadable. So far, we ended our case as you knew it one week before now under extreme difficulties because we had to fight and labor to even get the documents that we are entitled to by INEC. It is unfortunate that we had to subpoena INEC to get documents. If you read the Electoral Act, there will be no place that you will see the word subpoena. What you will see is that once you apply to INEC as a public institution, they are bound to give you documents. The mere fact that we are subpoenaing tells you that we were placed in a difficult situation. But we trust in God. So, so far, the proceeding is moving on. And by tomorrow, the second and third respondents will open their case. And let's see how it will proceed. So, what's that? What's the implication? Well, you know, when they try to use nomenclature to confuse people, it is obvious. The summary of the whole thing, whether you say performance test, vulnerability test, whatever you want to say, was that there was a problem. And there ought not to have been a problem for an institution that took 400 billion naira to organize an election, which they tested before the election, and they confirmed everything was sound. How can you talk about technical glitch when the House of Rep, there was no technical glitch, the Senate, there was no technical glitch, and somehow you're saying that in the presidency there was technical glitch. Let me ask you a question. Does a machine have the capacity to choose the election that it will glitch on? It's only a human being that can take that decision. And I want to end on this. Thank you.